Bloganeers, today we're going to unbox and build another Eureka crate from KiwiCo. And this time we'll be making a printing press. If this looks interesting to you, you can purchase it at the link in the description. Inside there is a maker's guide which contains information about the history and science behind the printing press as well as the step-by-step -step instructions that we'll be needing. This first page shows all the contents inside the box and as usual, everything we'll need is included inside. Here's the table of contents, so as you can see there's history, and then the building this time has five steps. And then finally at the end of the maker's guide, there's some additional information and useful tips. So for the printing press, the key components are the springs, linkages, and removable stands. Oh. Skills are wood assembly, linking joints, and artistic sense. The complexity is high, Whoa. which might be a problem because all the other ones, even the heart ukulele, that was all medium difficulty. Let's see what's inside the box. So there's a stamp, the ink for the stamp. Oh yeah, the ink pad. The ink pad. There are springs, there's rings. Over here there are support rods and spring hooks and other blue building pieces. This is the plastic tube. Oh, there's a screwdriver. These are zip ties. Oh, there's like bolts and screws and stuff like that. Oh, these are R clips. I'm not sure what they're for. Markers. Cool, markers. This, uh, oh, paper cards over here so we can stamp stuff on. And of course, you need stamps. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, uh huh. This is where all the stamps are. So that you'll, the machine will go down and it'll get all inky and it goes down. There are sticky foams here. Ooh, sticky foams. We love those. The wood set. And that's all. Nope. Oh, there. Lastly, screws. Um, yeah, I think these are screws. So that is the unboxing. Hopefully this is not too hard and we're gonna get straight to the building. Uh, Part A is to start the linkage. And the linkage is where all the press's moving parts will connect to. So this, this part seems like the easiest since it only has eight steps. Mm -hmm. And each part will progressively get longer and longer. That's what yeah. I think. All right, let's get the wood. I finished. Woohoo! That was part A. Whoa, whoa. Yep, part A was super easy. Now we're on to part B, which is assembling the handle. I think this is kind of already like the handle. The handle is what we'll use to work the printing press. Go. Yeah, I told you it's five seconds. Step six. We're going to get from the foam sheet. We're going to take one of these, okay, um, one of these rectangles. Okay. I love rectangles, especially when I fold. I love this sticky foam. Yep. And then so easy. One of these woods. I fastened the zip tie, mm -hmm. and now I'm gonna cut it. Told you we're a master at zip ties. At least he is. I'm not cutting that. Okay. Okay, let's throw, can okay, you throw that away? Right. Yeah. Step 10 is a long one, but we only need the zip tie and the plastic tube. So first I put the zip tie through like this. It says not to connect it yet. And then the tube goes through and like that. Yeah, okay. Where's Here, the ready? By the I'm gonna cut it. Three, two, one. Stand back away. Oh, wait. Where? Oh, wow. Okay, that's always a scary experience. Oh, it always goes forward to you guys. So if you guys are scared, you guys, you guys just be ready. Basically, 
basically they're just bombarding me with R clips. <laughs> I think that's why the difficulty is hard, even though our clips are not too hard, but still. Okay, well then, now we have this, and I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, because it just looks like a complete mess. Oh, right I now. see. But anyways, we're done with parts A, B, and C. On part A, we did the middle. On part B, we did this thing. And on part C, we made this whole thing. Yeah, we made this part. I think the ink, the ink pad will go in the middle, if I'm right. Uh, so basically, it's gonna be like this. Maybe. We're back from a break, and now we're ready to do part D, which will be the longest part, and it is constructing the body. And from what I see here, we're going to use the screwdriver a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Uh, oh. And, uh, well, no, the screwdriver first, and then we're going to use the R clips. Uh, oh. And then we're going to use some springs and some more R clips. Part D is to construct the body. So we got these two wood pieces. It says to markings face down, and we're going to apply stickiness to oh, it. Oh, can I do it? So I think this is probably the easiest step in part D, which has 23 steps. It's the longest part. Okay, so now that we have this, um, oh, I insert uh, I insert a blue thing here. Oh, that's Another R thing. Oh, that's yours. Please, I don't. I only have one hand. You have three. Okay, there it is. We're not even halfway done with part D, by the way. <gasps> this is long. This is long. This is long. And now we repeat, but on the other side. And push the bolts in. Yeah. I'm going to let the handle up slowly. Oh, hold on. Got it? Uh huh. Let the handle up slowly. Oh, wow. There. And then the bolts hold in. What does that do? Well, I have no idea. All right, the final part is part E, adding the ink pad holder, and it has, it has 16 steps. Okay, so now we're going to basically zip tie this together. Time lapse. Okay, so we did the zip ties, it went, it went flawlessly. After now step 15 is the ink pad. Finally. Watch out, I have the ink here. It's very inky. Okay, now slowly bring it in. Okay, we're not done yet though. Grab Designer it. stamp. You can use your printing press to stamp out custom greeting cards. To get started, create a stamp design for your cards. Okay, so now that we have the stamp stickers here, so we have thank you on here. Okay, so step three, when we're happy with our design, we place the stamp plate on the plate mount. Then we use the two O-rings to secure the stamp. Okay, Got so it? So now it's time to use our printing press to print our card design. So we're gonna get a paper card. And put it on the bottom. Okay, so let's let up on the handle, ready? Ready. We're gonna, this is gonna touch the ink pad now. Now we pull down and press the handle to the stamp the card. Can I do it? Okay, let's both do it. Ready? Count three. One, two, three. Hey, sit down. One, two, three. Okay, now let go. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> it worked! Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. So we have finished the printing press. And even though the difficulty was hard, it wasn't actually that hard. And I feel like this is gonna be really useful in the future to make cards and stuff. But even if it isn't useful, it's still fun. Yeah, this was a very fun Eureka crate. 
and I love the final product. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. Oh, and you can order at the link in the description. Bye. Bye.